All right, where am I? Yep. Hail the stage coach. This is awfully convenient, isn't it, boy? Yeah, that's it, boy. Oh man, I need some more, more horse food. You're all right, boy. Oh, okay. I got a... I'm just gonna have another smoke. Don't mind me. On a cigar. Dang. Big old thing. Look at that chonker. Well, we did it. It seems a little too easy. Yeah. Good job, boy. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. Mm. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, okay, I was like 10.50. Damn. Got any more opera singers for me to rob? <laughs> oh, okay, don't respond. Rude. Oh, I can't can't use weapons here. That's odd. My hat. 
Okay, I'm almost out of the the range. Come on. Uh, I can't. I still can't. Hope I'm not stepping on your crops, sir. I need my hat. Can I help Horse you flesh for dinner? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow mm. with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Out by oh. the stables. Thank you. Um, a Mexican. Have a wonderful day now. How dare he? He hurt 75% of me. Everybody. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Hmm. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, mm. Well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. Hmm. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. <laughs> I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Easy. And where do we sell them these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there will run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mm. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. And I like my outfit. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. I have a thoroughbred. Yeah. I have a thoroughbred. Coming past. Yep. Oh. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. Holy. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm glad they waited for me. Don't for a horse. Before you ran off on me, you should go in the back way, though. Let's have a carrot. Oh, too many questions. That salmon is high. Ooh. Yeah. 
and the health is pretty good. A guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. My partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <laughs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Oh, yeah? Horses, 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 horses. Yeah, okay, boy. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. Head around the front. I'm gonna change my hat. I'm gonna change my hat. Hitch up there. There we go. Alright, let's hitch up here. Am I supposed to hitch up when oh I I guess I like how they're just That's awkwardly waiting for me. Work, Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me <laughs> these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working that's what you're interested in what is your boys interested in we represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga that's so unofficially of course this here's Cerberus there you go boy Cerberus is a real reliable stud fathered many a race winner this one's Cerberus. Uh, old faithful <laughs> oh. he was a champion briefly so he hurt his leg didn't you boy Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners. <laughs> Bye, greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. We need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Easy now. Take it easy now. Larson, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're going to lead the stallions. Easy. Easy. It's okay. <laughs> Settle down, boy. Padden, padden, padden. You're okay. Boy. Let's go. Wait. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! I'll watch What the, the hell are you doing? 
We're gonna run into more trouble. I see. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my For sure, yeah. stone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. The Hustler or the Rustler? What you boys want? Heard you was, uh... Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, mm. we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. Why does he gotta tell us John, why they're Arthur, twins? Why does it matter? So what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. 
That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. <laughs> but... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it. Or leave it. Uh huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again. I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. <laughs> Six hundred fifty bucks. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. I changed my outfit. Let's uh, see. Yeah. I got a new hat. Yeah, why not? What you reading, Dutch? Evelyn Miller, of course. <laughs> that old windbag. Tell him about Evelyn Miller, Arthur. Mostly goes over my head, Dutch. <laughs> And Mike is even dumber than me. <laughs> Real funny, Arthur. He's no windbag, son. He is a, a seer. He sees morning, things Arthur. that morning, you don't know yet. I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. That's funny. And you're probably right. You know... You know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just more than an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're, you're, well, you're amazing. <laughs> Is he gonna say nothing to that? Keep it coming. Somebody put reading glasses in here? Hold on, go back. Reading glasses, five dollars. Thanks, Hosea. <laughs> cents for a skunk. That is sad. I was like, ooh, who's doing that? That's that's all me, excuse me? Oh my gosh. Who do I complain? Can I complain to people about ledging? Not ledging, uh, donating? Ladies. Hi there. Hey. You feeling more settled here now? Yes. This is a nice spot. Hey there. Good morning, Arthur. Is that Lenny? Hi. I want to say hi to Lenny. Hi, Lenny. 
Good morning, Arthur. Lenny is my favorite character. All good, Charles? Good morning, Arthur. Yeah. Good morning, Arthur. Ooh, I can pour some coffee? Hold on. Excuse me. Coffee. Good morning. You look well. Thank you, Arthur. It's hot. Miss Grimshaw. I should probably read up on their bio sometime. Because I really don't. I don't know everybody's story. I mean, I used to. But now I don't. My horse won't follow. There you go. Come here. What a nice horse. It's all right, boy. I'm actually gonna have to get more horse food. I'll be in danger of running out. Uh, make a trip to the store. And I just got paid. Maybe I will go to the store. Let's do it. Maybe on the way if I I can shoot something. Dead. Go over. Oh my gosh. I'm upset right now. That was a fine deer. And I missed a shot. Yep. We're trying. Trailing it. That's fine. It happened. Yep. That's fine. It's gonna have to be. Oh, hey. this real quick. I don't need enough. Time to sail. Fence? Oh no, that's the wheel thing. Never mind. Stage coacher. Can I help you? Done.
saw my brother die. Then I saw my friends die. I, I saw my leg get eaten by a dog after it got blown off. Asking for a lot. Back again. Take a look. Any questions? Feel free not to ask. Okay. I don't like you. This should be good. Mm. All right, but uh, if it has feathers of fur. Keep it in the bag. Well, that was fun. Oh, that's the whole range. I need food for the horse. Well, let's just look at everything. Here. Oh, wait, wait. I don't need all that. How many do I have? Fine. Done. Where's the classic out cakes? Yours. Got what I need. I, I think okay. I got many. This should be good. Sure, hand it over. Let's go next door. Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Let's see. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. I wish there was. Well, clean if that gun ain't shining. Clean Glad all you my take weapons. Care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Mm, maybe I'm gonna change something in my carbon. Looks repeater. like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Hey, you know that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make a sing. You'll notice the difference. Oh, I know rap. I'd keep away from the butcher's sausage. There's a reason he keeps the price so low. Gun seems to be well taken care of. 
Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Got some nice parts for that gun, you know. Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. I just can't. I don't care about it. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Mm, if this is already... I'm going to change my carbon repeater. Looks like you're taking uh, care I of that one. I like that one better. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I sold a derringer to a seamstress. A white one, of course. Ooh. I like that. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Apparently, someone stole Catherine Braithwaite's precious horses. Some are saying it was the Greys, but I can't imagine they'd do something like that. Dude, that was me. You proud? Why say it like that? Wait, wait, I can get this one. Have I have I had this before? Schofield revolver. Do I have this in my I feel like I do. Can I wait to give this a try? No, I do. Uh, let's have a look. I thought so. It's a uh, I almost bought something over here. I have that. I don't have the Litchfield. <sighs> Cardano. I can't get the good ones. Fine. And that should be good. Thank you. I don't treat you right for sure. <laughs> it's a good thing I got this carrot. You're okay, boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We went splat. All this food. Yep. Yeah. It's like a terrible owner or something. Yeah. Uh. 
Oh, almost ran over somebody. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Hey there, mister. Whew. Man on my wages could never afford a horse like this. Hey, friend. Hello. I'm too friendly. Mm. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Mm. What are we doing? Are we taking care of? I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Let's go. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I pull it clean out of his ass. <laughs> okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine. Horns faster than kerosene. That stuff. Said it'd be fitting. She did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook? No, just slutty old bitch. Jose really picked the right feller for tea in the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flapping. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I look polite because I let the fox go, but I was just scratching. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. You just robbed their horses, too. That was you. Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. What a thing. Oh, there's horses over there? That's nice to know. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know, 
what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hold it right there. I'm good here. I don't need to go in there. <sighs> Maybe I'll what do it. I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. <sighs> Uh, have a wee <laughs> drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean, you know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions. I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. <laughs> uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. Mm. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> So, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Uh, right you are. These horses don't understand what's happening. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them. Big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. While the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, he Come took on, that. Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. Glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Hmm. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Are those molot molotovs? I think those are molotovs. That's what you call them. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. 
Who'd that be? Oh, hey! Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you huh. later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. Tells the fields, I'll we'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. There's a lot of moonshine around. I'm so glad I know the proper amount of moonshine to to burn. You better not turn around. Wow, he turned around. Man, that's such a good moonshine pour. Should be enough for here. Done. So much pouring. So much wasting of moonshine. There we go. I'm gonna douse this too. I'm uh excuse me. Did you just did you just do that to me? That's 
try it. Where's the other one? His hat! They didn't tell you there'd be an army of them? They didn't tell me nothing! Jesus! There's more! Oh dang, I'm looting, I'm doing them. Let's go, let's go. Did it. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Yeah, I'll come. Wait. 